Yo. Singapore, we're gonna go around and take you with us. We didn't see this last night because we came in and it was nighttime. Also, we didn't know we had a second balcony, but look at our view, so pretty. Hello, Hi. we found an art store, well, craft store, so like lots of stickers and washi tape, so cute. Oh, I love this place. If you haven't heard of it, they have the cutest home organization and like stationery and stuff. So pretty. The first time we found this place was in Singapore, right? Yes. Yeah. So the real reason why we decided to leave our hotel room and venture into raffles was we wanted to find Pet Ta -da! Lovers Center. We're gonna go do a little shopping for our little pet pups. There's a bunny rabbit. Hi, Mr. Bun Bun. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Are you looking for anything specific? It's all practical. I'm looking for cute doggy outfits. <laughs> and like a cute like collar and leash for Sky. I a cute costume. Yeah. Do you remember we were walking around here before? Like when we were here about two years ago? And then remember we tried we tried to get an Uber and then we didn't know where to find him because we didn't know where we were allowed to stop and get on. And he got so mad at us. He wasn't mad at us. He was kind of mad at us. We're at PS Cafe and we noticed on the menu that they had the Impossible Burger, which I had when I was in LA and I have been dreaming about ever since. So we're gonna split one because we're still kind of full from our buffet breakfast and have a bite. I just realized if you don't know what the Impossible Burger is, you're not gonna understand what I'm talking about and why I'm so excited. The Impossible Burger is a completely vegetarian burger patty that tastes, that tastes like a real burger. Exactly like meat. It's amazing. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, it looks so good. <gasps> Crazy eating meat for the first time. Dun dun dun. And then, of course, because we wouldn't be true to ourselves if we didn't get coffee and cake after our meal. Ew! <laughs> it looks so gross. It's a carrot cake. Good fries! Good fries! <laughs> come, come, come hither. Come sit down with me now. Come sit down. But don't fit. Can I wipe this here? Yes, here. Here. No, I'm sorry. Hi there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, someone is gonna get her makeup done. It's already done. They're just gonna touch it up. Yeah. Oh, so you don't apply it directly onto the eyes. Yes, yes. Can you? Yes. Okay, I wanna see. Yeah. So it's thicker. I want it to look like extra. Oh, wow. I love it. It's so nice. Can I open my eyes? Not yet, not yet, not yet. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Damn, girl. <laughs> You can open your eyes now. Oh, it looks normal, long, natural. Yeah. Pretty little gem. Ah, why are we sitting? Because my feet are dead. Because these, ladies and gentlemen, are her comfiest shoes. 
Comfiest heels. Comfiest heels. Her first slippers for in. Barry, you get her slippers to the event. <laughs> She's so amused. It's raining cats and dogs outside. And she's leaving me for just an hour. <laughs> so I'm gonna stay here and I was gonna go. I watched um I have no idea how to pronounce his name. Tio Tio Yi, something like that. Sorry, I'm gonna put the link below. I watched his YouTube video recently and he talked about his favorite art stores in Singapore. And funnily enough, one of them is literally around the corner from our hotel. So I was gonna go and visit it while she was at her meeting. But now, because it's raining so hard, I don't really think that's possible. <laughs> three minutes, I have to go in three minutes. Oh, she's leaving me in three minutes. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna sit here, have my breakfast, and then maybe draw a little. Fresh sketchbook, brand new. I bought this at um, the Big Bad Wolf sale. I haven't really had a chance to try it until now. that it's raining now because we're indoors and this place is huge it's so huge and it's cold not humid and it's beautiful it's pretty freaking epic oh it's yeah. only tracking my face it's and face. you know what it, it's totally jurassic park feels <laughs> it's really jurassic park feels i mean and only singapore only singapore will do this and i think singapore has this thing where they love like indoor gardens so much and fountains right I think they just want to be like in tune with nature, so they put nature everywhere. That is beautiful. later price before guys they were saying this is the first filipino brand inside changi airport so we are gonna have the ribbon cutting at 4 p.m here and all over singapore we'll give away to the 100 price can you believe 103 bucks of price today so at four o'clock at four o'clock baby you're so cute i will tickle you Oh. It's another rainy Singapore day. Chris is getting her hair done and I'm just waiting for her. I think I'm just gonna draw a little bit. This is actually really nice because I get to chill and kind of just practice drawing. So yesterday I noticed that in the coffee shop I was surrounded by 
businessmen like a lot of there was a lawyers convention going on at the hotel so there's a lot of um, older businessmen staying so that's what I was drawing while I was having my coffee which is good because I actually find it really difficult to draw men so it was a very good practice and today since I'm waiting for Chris to get her hair done here at the salon I have my choice of lovely ladies to practice drawing Hi, just popping in because I was editing the video and I realized that I did not make an outro once again. I am such a bad vlogger. Uh, so one thing I wanted to show you before I said goodbye was this thing that I bought while we were in Jewel Changi. Let me show you. Ta-da! It's called a storybook box. Yeah, no, it's called it's called a story box and it's fairy tale themed. Here, let me flip the camera around so I can show you. It is the cutest thing ever. I was so in love with it the minute I saw it. I spent so much time looking at it. So inside it's basically these kind of like puzzle pieces with these adorable drawings on them. They're back to back. They have so many drawings. And the idea is you're supposed to kind of create your own fairy tale story based on the drawing and like connect the tiles in this way. And this is already a game that I play with my nieces and nephews. So um, like we just take turns continuing one giant story. So I thought it would be really cute to buy this to have a visual element to our game. And I can't wait to give that to them. And then another thing was this sketchbook that I bought at the Big Bad Wolf sale. I had the opportunity to sketch a few ladies while we were there. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I think that's actually quite cute. This was a mistake. This one reminds me of a friend of ours. I can't place who, but she reminds me of someone I know. This one I think would make such an interesting character. And I realized that I really need to practice drawing profile because as you can see, that's kind of weird. And then like, I don't know, like the proportions are just kind of off to me. So that's something that I want to keep working on. And I'm actually happy with the progress that I've made drawing men's faces because that's something that I never used to do. And I really think these are quite unique and they're quite um, fun. So I'm really happy with how those turned out. And this was a fun little experiment for me. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to pop in, say thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!